You know, you know, I've been getting a lot of flack about this deck here, um, my Elite Barbarian deck, but it does extremely well. Every time I start losing like crazy, I have to go back to this sinking deck just so I can climb back up on the ladder. So that's what we're going to do today, just hopefully so I can get back to at least flipping. I got to win again. <laughs> I keep trying all these new decks. Drop back down, have to go back to this deck, climb back up, and it's just a vicious cycle. I should just stick with it, but I like new things. I do. I have attention problems, and I like to mix it up a little bit, but I don't care. Either way, we're going to use this deck, and I think it should do pretty well for us, as it always does. I dropped all the way back down to 4,000. I think I won like four or five in a row with this bad boy already and uh i've been playing challenges in between they're here and there i've been trying different decks on the challenges now instead of the ladder so i'll see what i can do with this uh deck today see if we can pull out a win or two with it so he's gonna oh bomb tower dude i have not seen one of those in 14 years good for him so proud of him for using it too um that was an excellent play on his part I do not have my Inferno Tower in rotation, unfortunately, so there's not going to be a whole lot I can do here. I'm going to play an Ice Golem just to distract that Musketeer for a second. He's going to zap my Goblin game, but I don't think it's going to do too much damage, actually. And then we're going to throw Hog right, right away, see if we can not get a little bit of damage on that tower there. He's got a Mini P.E.K.K.A. Good for him. So he's playing Bomb Tower, Mini P.E.K.K.A. with a little bit of Giant action. And I'm okay with that, so I'm going to put my Elite Barbs up there, get them ready to go fight another day. Oh, dude, he took one out, little bounder. He still has to defend that Elite Barb with something. Oh, he's got a Miner. Excellent play. Three Elixir for three Elixir. I think that's a fair trade on his part. Good job. Okay, so we're not looking too bad. Uh, we defended his giant push. We got a little damage on that tower. We got a little damage on this tower. And now what are we going to do? We're going to get in here with... Uh, we're going to throw a Mega Minion down. And then he still has not seen our Inferno Tower, so we are going to, let's see, he's got Mini P.E.K.K.A. So we're going to go Goblin Gang right there. Make him defend this side over here. Oh, he's got the log, that's right. I forgot that's what he had. So he's got that. Um, that Musketeer placement was pretty good in that I think it's going to get in there on our Inferno Tower and do quite a bit of damage. Um... There's not much we can do here other than we got to take the miner out. And then the, those elite barbarians should go take that musketeer out lickety split. He's still got the bomb tower in rotation, so he's probably going to use that against our hog. But I'm okay with that. Um, I'll go ahead and zap it as soon as... Oh! Hog went right by it, so that's okay. We'll use goblin gang to defend against that mini packet. And we got quite a bit of damage on that tower there. Unfortunately, our goblin gang is going to completely die. Um, we'll put a Mega Minion back here just to kind of chill out, hang out, wait for that giant to get up here. Put an Ice Golem down, and then as soon as we can, we're going to split our Elite Barbarians. I know that's a little bit weird right now, but I think it's going to do pretty well for us. We'll fireball that action. Should be able to take out both of those things, and then we will go and zap. Come on. There we go. We can zap that, get rid of that and that, and then we have our Inferno Tower just to clean up all that action he's got coming our way. He's going to do the bomb tower correctly this time, so I'm very proud of him. Good play on his part. And then we can wait just a little bit. Um, we'll put a mega minion down just to stop that little giant push that he's got coming our way. And then as soon as we can, we're going to throw our uh, elite barbarians, and then we'll throw a little bit of a predictive... Oh! Okay, okay. Um, we'll zap that. See if we can't get another swing on the tower. We did not, unfortunately. But our Inferno Tower should clean that up pretty well. We got Goblin Gang, and then we will throw... Oh, he predicted the Goblin Gang. So we'll throw our Hog Rider in there. And then basically, what we could do now, um, if we get a couple more shots off with that guy... Oh, excellent. So we'll throw that down, that down just to defend, and then we should be able to fireball that away for a victory. Okay? This deck is extremely easy to play. Elite Barbarians may be overpowered a little bit, but, if you have them at your disposal, why not use them? I don't get it. So let's just use these bad boys and see if we can keep on climbing up the ladder here. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, we'll donate a furnace. Yes, we will. Alright, let's get right back into another battle. Why not? Okay? Okay. Here we go. Osama. Oh, Osama. <laughs> okay. Alright, what do we got for us? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, so he's going to pump up. That's probably our worst nightmare in this scenario. 
We'll wait until we get full elixir. That way we can fireball whatever we need to over here. But we are definitely going to put a hog down. And we'll zap that away. I wish I would have fireballed those minions. That way we would have taken them out. And I think we would have smoked that entire tower pretty much. But we've defended all that. Our towers will clean all that up. So I'm not too worried about that. Now we're going to put an ice golem down. I knew it. I knew he had... Um, the golem. So we're going to put elite barbs behind the ice golem, get them to push that thing up there, and then we will fireball something, hopefully as minion horde or something crazy like that. That's okay. Our elite barbs are still going to get a couple hits off on the tower, and we still have Inferno Tower to defend. So I am very pleased with that situation. He wasted his lightning, so he no longer has that in rotation, so he should be able to take... Oh, dang. I was a little bit early on my... Goblin Gang. I should have waited until the golem, I, the golem popped, but we're still going to take absolutely almost zero damage to our tower. We defended his golem push, his biggest push of the game pretty much, um, and then, I mean, he'll get one more push in. So as soon as he drops his golem again, I'm just going to go ahead, oh, I'm going to drop that, and then he's got no minions in rotation. Oh, he's got a little bit of that action going on, huh? Good stuff. We'll zap that get one hit off on the tower and we're okay with that oh we almost got two hits off on the tower I think that was really close um, we gotta save our fireball I think for something I can't remember what but I am gonna split the elite barbs this time and then I will that way he cannot use his lightning on them <laughs> and then they'll also do a little bit of damage to um, all perfect our goblin gang should take that Oh, dang, our Goblin Gang was going to take that tower out. So we'll do that, and then that. Um, we'll do that for those guys, and zap them. Just make sure they die, because if they were to stay alive, that would be really unfortunate. We'll do that, and then we'll throw a hog in there, and we should be able to take that tower out. No problem. Um, he's going all gung-ho on this side. I don't know if he has any elixir to defend that hog. Nope, he does not. So we'll put a Mega Minion down. And we should be able to take that musketeer out with the mega minion and with my little goblin. And then we have tons of defense over here, just fine. We'll put our elite barbs back there. And our we're going to drop goblin gang first. Just to clean up that those minion. Oh, that was a great play on his part, dude. Great play, but it's not going to be enough. And we have another win. Just like that, okay? We have another victory just like that. Not too bad. And that's a golem deck for you. Okay, so that's Elite Barbs versus Golem deck. Next, let's see what else we got. Okay, um, let's see. This is definitely, I mean, <laughs> I wish you had a way to see your percentage of wins with decks in this game. But unfortunately, there's not a way to do that. And I think we stopped that hog in its tracks pretty dang well. I will fireball whatever he's got coming out behind that ice wizard as well. If he has anything. Nope. Oh, he has a... Okay. Okay, fair enough. Good play. Good play. I don't think it'll get to the tower. I hope not. Oh, that was so close. I was so scared for a minute. I thought it was going to get to the tower, but it did not. And I think we are way, way ahead on Elixir. So here's what we're going to do. We're probably going to do that, that, and then that. And so he has to do some pretty crazy stuff just to defend all that action. We should get quite a bit of damage on both towers. Um, not as much as I would have hoped. Dang, we're going to have to play that, and we don't have enough for our zap. So that baby dragon is actually going to do quite a bit of damage on our tower, which kind of stinks. Ooh, that was horrible. Horrible play on our part. We'll just hold the inferno dragon for his hog as soon as he puts it down. Um, sorry, that was kind of annoying, probably. There it is. There's that hog. Uh, kill that ice wizard real quick. There we go. That, that actually worked out really well, because then we didn't take any damage from the ice wizard or the hog. So that worked out really well. Now what do we got to do? Um, mini P.E.K.K.A., Fire Spirits, Baby Dragon. That's excellent. So we'll just wait patiently here. I'm going to drop Mega Minion over here. We have that tower down a little bit more. And then we will do, okay, we'll do the golem just to t protect against that prince. And then we'll do hog rider on this side this time. And then he'll put his mini P.E.K.K.A down, of course, okay. And then we will do, 
let's do a goblin gang right here and then we'll do um ooh, that's not good that's not good at all we'll do that okay that should do pretty good and then we'll send our mega minion in there and our fireball oh come on hit that baby dragon oh dang it i thought i was gonna hit the baby dragon for some reason why do i hope why do i have so much hope in life and then we'll hold our inferno tower out there oh too close too close We'll just zap that just in case. We do not want any damage extra if we don't have to take it. And we'll throw another hog in there. Oh, I should have waited. I should have waited. We'll have to put that down. We're going to take a ton of damage from this prince here. Um, absolutely a ton of damage. And that's going to hurt really bad. Whew, that hurt. That hurt really bad. But I'm okay with that. So we have... Why would you go on that side? I'm not sure. But I'm okay with it. Um, I think he kind of screwed up there. Why didn't he go for that side there? And we'll throw a fireball in there if we can. Get our hog through there, for heaven's sakes. There we go. The hog didn't get any hits off? You stinking hog. Get some hits for once. My heck. Oh, so close. We'll put that up there. And then we'll throw a goblin gang in there real quick. Um, we'll zap that. Oh, yes. Come on, goblin gang. Do some damage. That's within fireball range. That's tower. That's over. Okay, so what did we learn today? We hate elite barbs, but they work. That's what we learned today, and we're good with that. We crawled up to um, 42.10. We just won three battles in a row. We should be able to keep going with this bad boy and get to challenger two. I'm not too worried about that. Goal this season is we have to get to challenger three. We have to. We have to get that. This, this season, we have to. Okay, we can do that. We can do that for sure. Um, thanks so much for dropping by the channel today. Um, if you like what you saw, be sure and subscribe, of course, and leave some likes below and good luck.